Nay's Oral Sessions podcast. Christian discussed how his AW deal came together. Timeline in which he got medically cleared. He said that as of the Wednesday before last Sunday's revolution, there still wasn't a signed deal. So he was surprised to hear the Paul White promo that a major signing was going to be announced. Arrived at the venue Sunday, an hour before the show started. Was kept away from people, added to his nervousness. His t-shirt design did not come together until Saturday. Process of returning came after last summer's unsanctioned match with Randy Orton, in which Christian couldn't take any moves or offense due to his medical status. Afterwards, and without telling anyone, Cage went back to the University of South Florida Concussion Center to see the same doctor he worked with at the time of his retirement. Wanted to see where he was at, possibility of a return. If the doctor said he couldn't return, he would have agreed and called it good. After a battery of tests in Tampa and a thorough five-hour test in Pittsburgh, doctors cleared him without issue, and he began to get back into shape using a minimalist gym he built in his garage and using the same nutrition company as Edge. Along the way, he floated the idea from returning to WWE with Vince McMahon, who was receptive through his preparation process. As he prepared for and desired a more full-time return, he talked with the WWE that was cordial, but that he wanted to explore all of his options in the final stage of his career. He'd met Tony Khan years earlier in Boston through mutual friend Chris Nowinski, who he admitted he never spoke with about his concussion issues, said the AW talks escalated quickly, were done within a week. He wasn't asked whether he talked with McMahon or WWE about his decision to sign with AEW, whether they offered him a contract, and the interest level after his performance in this year's Royal Rumble. He makes his Dynamite debut this Wednesday with an appearance. I remember when we were thinking about whether or not it was Christian, and for some reason everybody was insisting he was under contract. Well, he wasn't, so I don't know where that came from, but there you go. Christian cleared full, clean bill of health from the guy that initially retired him. And now he is back. Didn't mention if he did anything, the stuff that Daniel Bryan did. I mean, things heal. Apparently his brain healed, according to this doctor. So I don't know how often he will wrestle. But I do know for getting in shape at a minimalist gym and getting boxes of food delivered or whatever he got with Edge, I mean, that dude looked great in the Royal Rumble. He looked like he had never left. He was in shape. He worked great. I was very impressed. So we'll see what he does in in AEW. Didn't you see Rocky IV? Of course I saw Rocky IV. Are you kidding me? Who did he fight? The big Russian. That's right. Ivan Drago. Ivan Drago. Do you remember what happened with the whole storyline of that movie was? In some ways, it was like Rocky III. You know, here's a guy who had everything. Here's a guy who's the heavyweight champion of the world. Here's a guy that's at the top of his game. He's got all of this equipment that, that, that makes him great. And then this Russian comes along, and he's stronger than all of the equipment. In the same way that Mr. T was stronger than all that Hollywood, and he had to go back, and he needed to find that eye of the tiger. It's exactly what he did in Rocky IV, except instead of all the trappings of, of all of this modern equipment to get ready and to get physically fit for his fights, no, he went back into the woods. He was running up snow-filled mountains. He was carrying around tree limbs. He was doing all that sort of stuff, went back to the basics. So it doesn't surprise me at all that Christian decided to go back that way, and his minimalist workout regime resulted in the results that he's gotten. How can you be surprised by that? And also on a this serious note, this is what I'm note, surprised by actually, because it's kind of weird. Well, and on a serious note too, I ho- I'm glad he's cleared, and I'm glad he's okay. But he has had these issues. It only takes one, you know, sometimes. So it's just, I again, anybody that's coming back, and I'm glad the medicine's gotten better. I'm glad people's bodies are healing when it comes to their necks and when it comes to their heads. But it's just one of those two where. You know, I hope I, I hope everything goes as smooth as, as possible because as just in athletics in general, especially as these guys get older and they already have existing issues, you know, it's it ain't ballet. And it was great to see Sting in some ways take that power bomb to prove he could do it. It's great to see Christian and Edge back out there, but there's always a, a twinge of concern. So I hope everything goes as, as great as it possibly can for these guys. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.